Derby. The World Championship is at stake and the staggering first prize money of $100. Hey, thanks to Title IX, that's $150 today. Warming up to the task. Dottie hey, Cowell hey, hey, they're trying to put Pinky Tuscadero on the Malachi Crunch. Look out! It might be difficult for a men. What, did we just jump the shot? Easy thing for the ladies. After all, they back up in the supermarket parking lots almost daily. Come on, Chris. That's awful. If you're going to put it out there, why not go all the way? Yeah, why not just say, hey, I'm surprised their husbands let them out of the kitchen at all. And how do they drive when they're barefoot and pregnant and dumber and weaker than men? You know, I would pay money to see this guy on Dr. Phil. What you need to do is take that pig out of the barn, leave the door shut before the rain comes in. That's actually really good advice. I know. on equal terms on the arena floor. Ah, uh, there's our camera car. Miss Bradine, registered for the combat. Hi, yeah, this is uh, Dave from OnStar. Yeah, Dave, uh, I'm not sure where I am. I was just trying to go to the shop right. Okay, okay, don't panic. Uh, we got your location right here. Okay, but I don't see the parking lot. Okay, well, first of all, watch out for car number 40. It's going to hit you right now. Where? Ah! Okay, well, listen, I can't talk anymore. I've got a Dean Bradbury on the other line. Wait. Very anxious. Dave. Red flag signifying caution. Bobby has done a great job in keeping her frontal area covered up. Much to all of our chagrin, I might add. Touched by any other car, which has kept her in the running. Annie's been slamming and banging with a Thunderbird, and here she's drawing a bead on that... Ooh, you've got to protect your frontal area. Yeah, don't you watch Seventh Heaven? That's got to be safe, standing out on the track like that. Number 36 out of competition and giving the victory to Annie Mutchler in a Thunderbird. Have fun driving carpool in that thing, lady. And the second prize will be also $100 for... And third prize, $8,000. I wouldn't have believed it. But the women did pretty well. They went out there to wreck cars and wrecked them they did. Chris, you don't date much, do you? Speedway. And this is Chrissy Konomaki saying, so long from my slip. Well, so long, Chrissy. You've come a long way, Jay. You've come a long way. All right, it's time to give out a little hardware of our own. That's right, it's time for some cheapies. cheapies. First up, least valuable decision. Mine is for the entire antique car racing field, for driving whilst intoxicated. Yes, they were only going three miles per hour, but still, if they ever ran out of control and into a pedestrian, they could do a lot of damage to their front bumpers. Okay, now least valuable player. I'm going to give my least valuable player, Cheapy, to our Jenny for falling on the ice when he had the race in the bag. By the way, all of our Cheapy recipients today, winners and losers, will be receiving $100. All right, what have we learned? You can lead a horse to ice, but you can't make him skate. Drinking and driving antique cars actually do mix. And if you're going to bash the women of Islip, Long Island, you better protect your frontal area. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Cheap Seats. Who's been smoking?